All right, we're gonna make this here short, sweet, and to the point. So, if you want to know how to get Fab Filter Pro Q3 on your desktop or any other EQ VST, why would you want to do this? Well, maybe if you tuned your room and you didn't like the stereo tuning that you did with Sonarworks, or maybe the response you got after Sonarworks isn't what you wanted. So, um, Equalizer APO on Windows, Sound Source on Mac. So, you go here. You got Equalizer APO. Um, check out a YouTube video of this guy doing Room EQ Wizard with Equalizer APO. I repeat, that's Room EQ Wizard with Equalizer APO. He'll give you a lay of the land of how this works. If you already know how this works, here's how you do it. So you add a plus sign, you add um, plugins, VST plugin. It's going to say, wait, no file selected, but wait, you hit the lock. And boom, you have all of a sudden all the plugins you want in the world. So if I go to Fab Filter Pro Q3, you hit it, you down, open it, um, open panel, boom, there you go. You got some left and right custom EQ settings you want, go for it. Here's what I did. Um, I had my left, my right, and my stereo. What do you mean by that? And then a preamp, of course, to kind of um, avoid clipping. What do you mean by that? So my left speaker, come on, left speaker, uh, low end. I did it at 180 hertz and below right 180 hertz and below and stereo i did 180 hertz up the reason why i did that was well uh give or take a notch or two but ignore that one reason was um i'm using barefoot footprints they're side firing subs they're front facing mid and tweeter drivers therefore i figured with the omnidirectional <clears throat> the omnidirectional driver Woofers, frequencies, um, they needed to be attenuated left and right independently because the back of the room is wider than the front of the room, which is kind of weird, but hey, you know, um, that's why I did it. Left and right, um, I did it independently for the low end. Stereo, 180 hertz and above, which is the crossover point for the mid and the woofer. Because the mid and the tweeter is facing me, um... It sounded a little more smoother when I did them both simultaneously from 180 hertz up. So, that's what I did. Maybe it'll work for you. Equalizer APO. Plus button. Plug-in. VST plug-in. And then the lock. And then open panel. Don't forget open panel. Don't forget opening panel. And don't forget to subscribe. Follow me. The Buckness. I'm everywhere. Yeah.